Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll be demonstrating how you can create a factory talk view ME runtime file, also known as .mer, which is the file name extension, and download it to your panel view. Uh, at the same time, I'll also show you how you can upload it, or rather read from the panel view into your computer. Let's get started. So I've got a VM here of my application. Uh, in order to create a runtime file or .mer file name extension, you go application and go runtime application. In the, over here, you specify the file name that you want to uh, create for the runtime file. On this section here is to either password protect or you can keep it open and the version of the firmware on the uh, panel view. I'm going to keep my runtime as version 11. That's what I have on my firmware. And I'll show you where you can actually see the runtime version on your panel view. It comes up as a splash screen when you first power up the uh, panel view. So um, I'm going to click Save, replace it. And this process, depending on the size of your Factory Talk View ME application, it varies, right? Uh, mine takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna let it run for a few minutes here and I'll be right back. Okay, the runtime file is completed now. Uh, in order to locate your runtime file, it is generally installed or rather created in a default directory for Rockwell. So if you open your Windows Explorer. It is in C, Users, and under Public, Public Document, RS View Enterprise. It's an ME application. If it's a site edition, it's in here. So this is going to be ME for panel view, and it's a runtime file. So this is the file that I just created. So this is where, uh, this is the file that you're going to use to upload to the panel view. So my VM is not on the same subnet or rather on the same network as the panel view. I'm going to have to copy this to the computer where it is connected to the panel view. So I'm just going to go right click, copy this one here. And I'm going to move it over to the other computer and I'll be right back. Okay, I've moved my .mer file into this computer, which is on the same subnet as the panel view. So to uh, download or upload the file, MER file from the uh, panel view, you need a tool from Rockwell called Transfer Utility. You click on the Start window here and you type the word Transfer. It comes up with an ME Transfer Utility. Okay, once the utility launches, uh, there's a couple of tabs on top here. Uh, normally a good practice is to uh, upload or read from the panel view into your computer which means you are pulling up the uh, panel view MER file into your computer. You click on upload okay, and depending on where you have stored your MER file you select the storage type as mine is going to be an internal and you can click on these uh, three dots here. If the three, When you click the three dots here and if you see the file that you are anticipating uh, from the panel view, you know that your connections are good, right? So this is my file and I know that's the file that's been there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK and uh, upload as uh, you can change the name if needed to be and all that good stuff. Normally I do it as uh, put a date in there or uh, put a date in there, right? And then uh, uh, it's gonna go to the destination of that particular folder there. And the second section is your terminal source here. Um, you, you have to select where your panel view is installed. So mine is under this uh, ethernet here, and this is my panel view. So once you're ready to uh, read from the panel view, you click on upload. And what this does is that it pulls the .mer file from the field panel view into your computer. So this is going to take a bit here. As you can see, the file is here already. This is the file. All right, the upload is uh, successful. So this is the file that uh, uh, that was uh, uploaded or read from the panel view as a backup, right? So that's a good practice to do. I'm going to click OK here. So that's how you read from the panel view. So next demonstration will be to write 
the MER file onto your panel view. To do that, click on the download tab here. On this download tab, uh, you'll be presented with a similar kind of structure but different in some ways. So here, the MER file, the source, uh, where you, is where your MER file is, the one that you just created a moment ago. So this is the MER file, sorry, this is the MER file that I'll be using to write to the panel view today. So click on that and click open. And then download as, you can change the name uh, if needed to be, but we're not going to make any changes to, to the file name, we're going to keep it as they are default. And then this is the location where your MER file will be written to. Again, uh, it's going to be on internal source for me. So I'm going to leave it as they are. And uh, run application at startup. So what this does is that it restarts your panel view, right? That is going to uh, restart the whole panel view right at the get-go. And if you put a check here, it will replace your RS Links Enterprise communication. And to delete the log file, you put a check here to delete all your log file. Logs file pertains to trending, so you will lose all the trending uh, in, in this process. So just be aware when you delete the log file. And of course, the last one will be to, uh, to uh, what do you call that, uh, the, direct, the location where your panel view is targeted to. Again, it's going to be the same panel view. So now I'm going to do is, uh, in order to write to the panel view, click on download. And this again might take a bit of time, depending on uh, uh, what your connection is. So this one here is telling you that uh, there's already a pre-existing file name of the similar type. If you want to override it, just say yes. If you don't want to override it, say no, and then go ahead and do all the stuff that you have to do to uh, delete or rename the file. But make sure that you have enough space on your panel view before you do this. So now I'm going to click on yes. Yeah, I'm going to let it run for a bit here. Okay, the uh, download is complete. Click OK here. What it's going to do next is it's, it's going to power cycle the panel view here in a moment. And you'll see the VNC will show the splash screen of a standard panel view uh, shortly here. All right, now the VNC is attempting to connect to the panel view. Once it's loaded, uh, press F2 or click on run application and your application will be running in a few short moments here. If this tutorial helps, please like and subscribe. Other than that, have a good day. Bye now.